what an absolutely gorgeous perfect beautiful early september evening really warm just basking in the glow of the sun that's just over there a nice gentle breeze clear blue skies the trees are still mostly in full leaf and of course at this time of the year and this time of the day because the sun is getting lower even though it's still got a bit of bit of a punch to it bit of punch to it even though it's getting lower you get these long shadows you see these long shadows at this time of the day now and you know i just i just love nature i just love it it keeps me sane it inspires me it calms me i love it i love observing the patterns the intricate patterns how everything just happens effortlessly every year how it gives so much to us and teaches us lessons and there's a lot of symbolism in nature as well i mean for instance before as i say absolutely beautiful evening i've been watching the watching the the world go by watching the birds and um there was a there was a group of crows i think they were crows or ravens or something and they were sat on this tree and they looked quite sinister the tree the top third of the tree was dead and that's where the crows were sitting there was about 10 12 of them just ominously looking out over the land with their shrill baying cry and it was quite sinister and it was almost like a metaphor for the you know, dark force hidden dark forces that have been staring of of late you know and they'd these crows got nothing against crows of course it's just the symbolism behind it it was almost like they'd already killed off part of the tree they were going to kill the, the rest of the tree and they were then going to go and damage the rest of the land and i thought yeah it's a metaphor for those dark forces and what they're trying to do and why we must not let them anyway that was just some inspiration i took really from uh, from watching watching nature today and look at these blackberries here don't know whether you can see them there they are oh there we go getting stung by the stinging nettles here uh, right, so I wanted to do this video to I've gone off on on a tangent there to say to just give my thanks really to all of you who subscribe and particularly to the people who've been contributing some of you for, for quite a long time now. I really appreciate it. I love it reading the comments because I learn so much. Some of the points that are made are so so profound and they really challenge my way of looking at the world do you know another thing about whenever you start filming there's always a plane or a lawnmower it's funny that uh anyway i just wanted to say thanks it's certainly not uh not easy doing this i enjoy it i really enjoy it but just with the type of content that i do Sometimes it's, I'm really out of my comfort zone, so I do appreciate so much the support you know, that you guys give to me. Thanks to everyone for your likes, your comments and your shares. And it's, as you know, I, I strongly believe that society needs more cultured and interesting and intelligent conversations, really, with unique viewpoints and insights. And I certainly feel that that's, the, that's what you give to me with your comments that you add to to the videos that I create and that's what I'm trying to I think ultimately you know we will we will arrive at some point in a new age of conversation we will conversation and community I call it where those two concepts will be treasured and cherished and protected in a way that they're not at the moment but you know it's up to us to try to to cultivate the seeds of, uh, of that revolution of conversation and community isn't it and you really all helped me to do that. So I think about 168 subscribers now. Uh, there are actually a few comments I need to reply to, which I will do when I get back off this walk. Rest assured, I always reply to any comment I see I reply to. I am aware of some comments that people post and for some reason I can't see them. And I don't know why that is. I don't know whether it's just because of YouTube being, being glitchy or whether 
some comments are censored. I don't know. Sometimes I do get the feeling that you know, there are restrictions placed on my channel because of, to a degree, I do really challenge the mainstream narrative. So I don't know, maybe not. So if anyone ever comments and I don't reply, it's because I've not seen the comment or sometimes I can see a comment and I click on it to reply and it disappears so I can't reply. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. So just some reassurance for you really that I do really value all of your contributions and comments. I always will reply. But if you never do get a reply, that's why. But yeah, thanks very much again uh, for everything you do to support me. Honestly, I really am so grateful and I'll continue providing content for as long as I think I can be valuable to you and to any new people who come along as well. But particularly to you know existing subscribers who take the time out to watch my videos and to to feedback. And again, I welcome all comments, whether you agree or disagree with me. There's been a few lately that have really, really made me think in a different way, and I, I love that. You know, I love it when somebody says something that really alters my perception on things. Uh, surely that's what it's all about, isn't it? So I'm going to carry on with the rest of this walk on this gorgeous night, gorgeous early evening. And I'll be back tomorrow. I think I'm off to LA District tomorrow, so I might shoot a quick video from there. Just for a day trip. Shoot a quick video, it'll be nice up there tomorrow. 20, 26, 27 degrees apparently tomorrow, so very hot for the time of the year. Anyway, I'll leave it there, I'll stop rambling and I'll... Speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.